Hello everyone, this is Anjali Tyagi and today I want to give you the summary of the chapter the third level from Vista's book of class 12. Author of the chapter is Jack Feeney. Walter Braden Jack Feeney was an American author. His best known works are science, fiction and thrillers including The Body Snatcher and Time and Again. The former was the basis for the 1956 film invasion of The Body Snatcher and its remakes. The third level introduction of the chapter. The Grand Central Station of New York has two levels but Charlie the 31 year old protagonist of the story a city dweller declares that there are three and claims to have been there as well. Summary of the chapter In New York the Grand Central Station has two levels. Nonetheless Charlie a 31 year old city resident talks that there exists a third level. Also he claims that he has been there. To talk about this problem he visits a psychiatrist friend he calls it a waking dream wish fulfillment and explains Charlie's psychology by saying that the modern world is full of fear, insecurity, war and worry and everybody wants to escape to some temporary refuse from reality. As for him, hobbies like stamp collection is an indicator of this escape. At times, the Grand Central Station seems like a maze to Charlie. While taking the subway earlier, he had lost his way a couple of times. One time he entered the lobby of Roosevelt Hotel, while the other time he appeared at an office building that was three blocks away. However, this time he loses his way and something unique occurs. Charlie visits the third level. In the silent half hallway, Charlie keeps walking, turning left and sloping downward until he touches an architecturally old station, which is totally different from the two familiar levels. Moreover, this old small room with fewer ticket counters and train gates, a wooden information booth, wavering open flame gas lights and brass spittles. All this remind him of the architecture of the 1800s. Further, he sees people in outdated outfits. When he noticed the date in the newspaper, The World, he sees 11 June 1894. When he tries to buy two tickets, he realizes that he needs old currency. He always wanted to travel to Galesburg with his wife, Louisa. Back in his head, it is a wonderful town still, with big old frame houses, huge lawns and tremendous trees. The space has pleasant and long summer dusks and where people have ample of time. Hence, the next day during lunch, he exchanges $300 for old currency amounting to some 200 only. In addition, the amount doesn't bother him as he believes that everything there will be cheaper. However, he could never again find the corridor that leads to him to the third level. When her, his wife came to know about this, she asked him to stop looking unexpectedly. His friend Sam Wehner also disappeared and his wife keeps on looking for him for in the weekends. Moreover, Sam was the one whom Charlie shared his idea about Galesburg. Charlie inherited the hobby of stamp collection from his grandfather and someday while looking at the stamp collection, Charlie finds a letter that was earlier not there. Also, it has the postmark on a faded 6 cent stamp with a picture of President Garfield. Further, the envelope reads as 18 July 
eighteen ninety four to Charlie's grandfather in Galesburg, and it addresses Charlie. In the letter, Cham tells Charlie that he has reached Galesburg, and he invites Charlie and Louisa there. After going to stamp and coin shop, he gets to know that Sam exchanged eight hundred dollars for old currency bills to establish his business in Galesburg. Besides, Sam was none other than Charlie's psychiatrist. Conclusion of the story: Through the third level, the writer wants to escape from the modern world to peaceful and quiet old times. This is all about the chapter. Thank you very much for listening to me.